good afternoon so in this video we are going to discuss a very short and sweet application of dynamic programming so finding longest palindromic sequence of a given string suppose a string tall is given. What is the longest palindromic sequence of this string? It is LL. And what is the length? Length is 2. Okay. Uh, this is a kind of proverbial problem in dynamic programming. It helps us to understand the technique through recursion. In this video, I will explain how to write recursive equations for this problem. Problem number uh, given string is tall. Okay. Left index is 0, right index is 3 because there are 4 characters. If the first condition if the string is palindrome as a whole, then return return the length. What is the length? Left plus right. Okay left plus right sorry right minus left plus one is a length return this length what is length right minus left plus one so for three minus zero plus one equal to four okay otherwise if string is not palindrome. Then divide the problem into two sub problems. That is length of longest palindromic sequence. Input is the string. Take this as left. The second problem is this time you omit the rightmost character. What is it? Nothing but L plus 1 R and the second problem is L R minus 1. And repeat the process. Say we have tall string will become now T A L and A L L. Now again, is T A L palindrome? Is T A L palindrome? No. And it becomes T A and and what? A L. And next you have A L L. It becomes A L and L L. L L is a palindrome, so it returns two from here. Now T A. We get two strings A L. When there is only one character, return one. Take maximum of these two for this. Maximum of these two for this. Maximum of these two for this. Now AL becomes AL. Returns 1, returns 1. Maximum of these two is 1. Maximum of these two is 2. Now let us go back. Say so tall returns. Now what was the first step? Here. TAL problem T 
TAL problem returns 1. ALL returns 2. Now, maximum of these two is 2. That is the final solution. Uh, let us code for it in Java. We have a string say str string is tall. So call function l e s our method pass the string its left index its right index number of characters minus one next <coughs> you can write a public method or a private method as by your choice a static or non-static if we if i use static then I, then I need not create an object for it. The user function returns length. Name is LPS. Takes a string and its left index, its right index. Now, first, if left index is equal to right index, then there is only one character. So length of longest palindromic substring is one. Next, if the given string is a palindrome, the given string is a palindrome, let us put else if If the given string is a palindrome, then return the length of the palindrome. Return the length of palindrome right minus left plus one. Else, divide the problem into two sub problems. First option is remove the leftmost character and take the next character to start with and right character stays. Second option, the second sub problem. I call this as sub one, sub problem one. This is sub problem two. String. I retain, retain left character, but I remove the last character. Take next last, next to last. Now what I do, I take maximum I take maximum of these two solutions and return that. That's it. Now I need to write is palindrome method. Again, is palindrome requires left index and right index. Can be public, static or non-static. Static will do for our case, which is a simpler one, returns true or false, name is is, is palindrome, takes a string, left index and right index. Now, while there is at least 
while there are at least two characters compare them now if the leftmost character is not equal to the rightmost character then it cannot be a palindrome so return return false if they are then take next page next left next right repeat it so you repeated this every time respective pages are same and there's only one character left in that case you can you can return to that's it this part will help us to check whether a string is palindrome or not between left index and right index this part will get us the length of the longest palindrome and is the input part okay so let us execute this there is some syntax error in this statement Yeah, this is S, not str, because the dummy variable name is S. It should be S everywhere. Well, and these two. Let us change it. Okay, this is now Kamala and this is the longest palindromic sequence. What is the length? The length should be 3. Okay. So I hope you understand it. Thanks for watching. This is one of the shortest and sweetest application of dynamic programming. Okay, so let us stop here.